What up guys, some of you have mentioned in my first smart switch video that that method's no longer working for you. So I wanted to take the opportunity to create a quick tutorial with users using macOS Sequoia 15.2. So we'll go ahead and run through this complete process. We're gonna do this start to finish together. I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall my smart switch from my Mac mini. And we're just gonna do that together now so that you can see the entire process. So I just needed to authenticate five times to remove all of the extensions and it's finally removed. So next step here, we'll go ahead and go to, or just Google smart switch app. This will bring up, you know, you can, I, I think I selected like the second option mac os download and i'm gonna go ahead and download that now and the reason i'm downloading it again is just to show you guys that i have the most up-to-date version of the smart switch app so we'll go ahead and hit continue authenticate with your password and allow the application to run the install so we're just gonna wait for that to wrap up and We'll move over to, this, to the last part of the installation. So as noted, once you're finished installing, you will have to restart the machine. So I'm gonna do that now, trigger the restart, and we're gonna meet in the next screen. So, so now that the system has restarted, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Smart Switch app. And I'm not gonna hit okay, I'm gonna hit open system settings. And you can see that that has opened it in the background. And you need to go ahead and click on all of these extensions and authenticate. So you need to give it permission to do stuff to the system, whether it's write files in the background, access your file system. And you only need to do this once. So this part is very important in order for it to work. As you can see, I'm on the last step. All of them have been authenticated and now we can plug in the phone and let's see if that works. And as you can see, I'm running a Samsung S23. I'm running the most up-to-date OS on my, on my Galaxy phone and and I'm using macOS with the most up-to-date macOS Sequoia 15.2. And as you can see, with the steps that I've just outlined, I am able to browse on my phone, as you can see that I'm doing now, able to browse by date. And I just need to set up a quick folder so that I can find these files. And I'll go ahead and drag file over so you can see that transfer occur and there we have it so this photo I took earlier for another video and uh, let's just do one more and you can see that that is working just fine now thank you guys so much for leaving comments and letting me know that you're having issues with connecting making this video for you guys was no problem at all and I really hope that this helps you uh, solve your issues so Guys, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next video.